We, Akatsuki, will deliver... It's a little bit earlier, but hello, everybody. Hello, Reborn, mostly. The only one, too. Well, you know. I should probably give it another few minutes to see if people show up. I did kind of start earlier than intended. I don't know. Sorry for the, uh... 
sad music and the sad thing. Why are you pink? Pinker than usual. On my end, at least, you're like a like a strawberry red, and then you turn into like a like a pink, a strawberry pink. Hello, Phoenix. How's it going? Hope you're having a good day. Didn't change anything, huh? I'll believe you, I guess. It's probably stupid OBS being weird, I don't know. Uh, so welcome back to this thing. I'm gonna add a thing here. Text, blah blah blah. Dang it, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, it's probably just OBS being weird. Trying to paint the town bad. I don't know. How's it going? Insert text here. Hello, I am Blue Mage. In please insert text. Hello, Slash. How's it going? Hope you're having a good day. Let's put this over here. Because, you know, there's nothing over there. Uh, so before we start off, to explain this note, that is, uh... Well, welcome here with the snack. You're probably going to... Want to eat something, uh, better, though. I don't know. Something uh, you want to eat whenever you're sad. Because this, I feel like this chapter is going to be, going to be making people really sad. I can't, I can't, uh, speak properly, but thankfully I just need to read properly, which, you know, that's difficult, too. But, yeah, sadness, for sure. Uh, but, before we start. Probably something I should have like said like on on Discord or something. But I'll say it here and I'll probably say it again. Uh, I have been informed that this chapter may have points where you're like, what the heck? Why is this a thing? It's important that you be nice. Be civil in your complaints, please. I do not know what these th issues are that come up or are going to come up. I don't think any regular here is actually going to do anything that is rude and or out of place, out of, you know, out of character for them. But, you know, just in case. What is this? Hang on. Something weird just happened. I don't know what, what this is. All of my desktop icons apparently have a check mark on them, and I don't know why. What are these green check marks? Wait, I've looked up this exact same thing before. It went away. Cool. Please do not curse in such a vile manner on my stream reborn. This is a good child friendly stream. Like a little lightning bolts. Just look like little shock markers. This is a child friendly stream. Please keep all of your heckin' swears to yourself. Anyways, April 5th. 5.58 p.m. High Prosecutor's Offices, room 1202. Wow, he just ran in here. Kay! No, she's not here either. Where in the world could she have gone? Knock, knock, I'm here. 
Mr. Shields. What's going on, Miles? Why the long face? Take it from Uncle Ray. You won't be popular with the ladies looking like that. Why are you here? Did something happen? That's my life. Have you seen the news about the murder at the PIC headquarters? Uh, yeah, I was there. You're here, wasn't it today? I found myself wondering if you guys had somehow got caught up in it, and or were responsible, and or, you know, were dead. The classical thoughts that happen whenever someone is in a murder scene. Wait, it's already made the news? I hear, I hear they are searching for a teenage girl suspected of killing an attorney. Also, hello, Flame, and hello, Greninja. I can't imagine it could have been her, but it has been bothering me. Could you give me the full rundown? The, the truth is, I don't know the truth. But Miles, are you trying to give your Uncle Ray a heart attack? You said you wanted the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I'm not joking. She really did lose her memory. On top of that, she's a suspect. That makes things even more difficult. This is the Forgotten Tournament. If you missed last week's thing, the VOD should still be there. I haven't bothered, you know, transferring them over because I'm bad at that. Uh, but to summarize what's happened already, by the way, I guess, uh... For those who may or may not have been here, or just forgot... I probably forgot some of the details. Uh, but someone pushed K off a building. A very, very tall building causing her to lose her memory. We don't know who yet, or really why, uh, but she was called to the PIC offices to retrieve her journal from when she was a kid, which had promises to her father written inside of them. Uh, but the person who called her there ended up dying. R pretty rude to call someone than die, I think. Uh, and we don't know who murdered them, but Kay is a suspect because she lost her memory and doesn't remember who the suspect could be. And we also met, uh, Sebastian's father, who looks like a very sad biker. And also is totally not evil, in any way, shape, or form. Actually, might be here in our thing. Yeah, we got Kay's memories. Someone walked towards her from behind the stand and pushed her off the roof. Grand Tower plant for We have the purple flower. We have an autopsy report. Is this the final case? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, but I don't know for sure. I have not played this game before, so... We have the Yadigarasu badge, but we got Kay, who is, uh... ...reporting to me that she's lost her memories. She looks very sad. Angry Grandma. The corner of the case. There he is. Blaze the Best. Former Chief Prosecutor, Sebastian's father. Weepy. I'm glad he wrote that down in his organizer. Then we got uh, your friendly neighborhood gumshoe here. He's in charge of the initial investigation, as he always is. Hello, Sylvia. His dad is not a monkey, I think. He is very hairy, though. Reminds me of someone. I think it's the hair. Wasn't there a guy who had, like, had a ramen bowl for... Hair, basically. The way these are drawn kind of remind me of that. Yeah, El Dune. Also, hello, Sylvia. Hope you're having a good night. Hello, Pete. Hope you're having a good night. I'm not very good at remembering names, so... I think that's it. There's Jill Crane. We have no idea what her story is yet, or why she's dead. Uh, but welcome to the start of the shroom. You haven't actually missed much, just, uh... Ray ran in, 
Well, Edworth ran in, A kind of, or Ray kind of just moseyed in. But, you know. Sometimes people just die, but this one was specifically murdered, okay? There has to be a reason. I was hoping she would have returned here, but... Not likely. She felt responsible for what happened to you, right? Then there's no way she would come back here. I know that, but where else can I look? Calm down, Miles. This isn't like you. It's rare to see you get so heated up. Well, not that that's a bad thing. You're trying this hard to save an innocent suspect from false charges. I'm sure you'd make a great defense attorney. Will you stop pressuring me? Come on, Dad. Actually, just a while ago, I turned in my badge. But that doesn't mean I've decided to become a defense attorney. Besides, Kaya isn't a mere suspect. Exactly. May have only known her for a short time. It's been a few weeks now, actually. But we've been through quite a lot together. And I know she isn't capable of murder. Well, she's capable of it, but she wouldn't go through with it. I'm surprised. I never thought you would go so far as to support someone else. What do you think of Edward? He's done nothing but support other people since you've met him. I don't know if you even realize it yourself, but it seems a deep bond has already begun to grow between you and Kay. Is that okay? I'd say it even gives my bond with your father a run for its money. No, it's not that deep. She just keeps barging into my state of affairs. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that girl can be quite a handful. But I'm certain there's something that has changed inside you since you met her. I learned how computers work. Yeah, when am I gonna... Sh when is Edgeworth gonna shoot out his true self and beat up someone? With its objection powers. I'm really jealous, you know. After all, I lost my old pop. He does have a friend, though. He has gumshoe. That's why you need to find Kay right now. I don't want you to lose your bond like your Uncle Ray did. Hmm, you're right. Keep an eye on Francisco. Ow. Well then, I have a proposal. We have no idea where she is. Searching around blindly won't get us anywhere. In that case, why don't we try searching for the cause of the memory loss? Maybe that could give us a lead. I see, that might be a good idea. From what she told me, something must have happened to her at the Grand Tower. That's it, let's get going then. It isn't like you just left there like five seconds ago, and it'll be super awkward when you try to go back for your badge. Hey, at the very least, could you stop looking so grim? If you stay that way, Kay probably won't come back at all. Good grief, I'm no match for this man. Are we just allowed up here at any time? Seems it's already dark. When you realize it was dark on your way here. <laughs> Still open on the day of a murder. You gotta admire their capitalism spirit. But there's no one here, except for that person on the side of the screen that you can obviously see. But I have my back to them, so I can't see them. Looks like we got this place all to ourselves. To prove Kay's innocence, I need to investigate her lost memories. Hey, hey, let's go, Miles! We can investigate the roof as much as we want! So let's do what we can. Are you at a candy store? Do you believe to be at a candy store right now, Ray? Ooh, look over here. They got some butterscotch. Prime case for memory loss. Do what we can, huh? I suppose that's all we can do for now. Hang on, one second. Mm, no, this is just gonna keep happening, I guess. Better go talk to these people that are standing right here and no one noticed. Don't have this to ourselves at all. Miles Edgeworth, we meet again! What are you two doing here? Well, we came all this way, so I thought we'd buy some cotton candy. And what about you? You want folks to get the wrong idea about you? Do not worry, I will decide my own actions. You're just a no-good ex-prosecutor. It's no wonder you got the axe. I quit. Wait, what? You got fired! Y you needn't be concerned with what happens to me. Also, I quit. I didn't get fired. 
Uh, are you sure? Uh, oh yeah, what happened to Kay? She evaporated. Huh? Was there some sort of trouble between you two? Anything I could do to help? How about an injection? Uh, it's fine. Well, injections are answer to everything. Oh, right. It's getting cold, isn't it? Let's go home. Well then, Mr. Miles Edward. Let's meet again soon. You better not end up being the villain. I'll, be, I'll feel bad. Oh, and they just left, huh? How is there a shopkeeper here? I mean, it makes sense. This is a shop. But how does no one notice him? Also, I can't see him at all. They didn't even bother modeling in a shopkeeper. Surprised that's not like another reference. I feel like there's, there's probably a shopkeeper they could have put here. Actually, it's probably Larry. You, sir! How about some heavenly cotton candy? Heaven's tear! Heaven's tear? Isn't it even after the shape of the clouds you can see from here? We are regular- we tear a regular piece of cotton candy in half and then sell it without changing the price. That's why the name is Heaven's Tear. We tear the cost in half while crying tears of joy. If the customers knew that, they would be crying tears of sorrow. Which I means I, I guess I know that now. Hmm. He didn't call me edgy, so it's probably not actually Larry, but. A literal ripoff. If you insert a coin, you can use these binoculars to get a nice view of the city. You could also just use your eyes. This whole place is ripping us off. I'm sure if Kay were feeling better, she'd be happily glued to them. Uh, for her sake, I must examine every nook and cranny of this viewing platform. The only reason I'm sure it's not Larry, besides him not saying edgy, is that he isn't a suspect for this murder. this Pegasus. It's a statue of a pony sparkling in the twilight. Hmm, the statue has wings. Perhaps it's a Pegasus, the flying horse of myth. No, there's a horn on its head. Is there? Is, could it be the legendary unicorn? But I thought unicorns didn't have wings! Hmm, what's this? There's a plaque at the bottom. The title of this work is written in the plaque. A magical con contradiction. I suppose only the part of the work I'll be able to... The only part of this work I was able to understand was the contradiction part. Also, wait a minute. There is a... There's a term for a unicorn pegasus, isn't there? Pegasus is the only thing. Alicorn, that's it. That's the one I've heard, at least. I don't know if it's actual name. But that is what it's often referred to as. Yeah, why would he not analyze this light-up pony? Pony. <laughs> pony. Because K would do it, and he's doing all of this for K. Statue of a creature with the body of a lion and the beak and wings of a bird. These statues seem to be guarding the entrance to this peaceful park. An immaculate work, down to the last detail. But since it looks so fearsome, wouldn't it frighten away visitors to the park? Thank you for putting secretly in quotation marks. about this tree. Kay is not dead. She is currently lacking memories. But she is not dead. Also, hello, Lisa. She is also on the run. We don't know where she is. 
The cherry tree with branches spread wide, the flowers are nearly in full bloom. According to Kay's testimony, before she was pushed, she was standing under the cherry tree. Why do you think Kay lost her memories? Was there something she wanted to forget? Miles, did you say something horrible to her? Uh, of course not. I would never say anything that cruel to someone. I didn't even give an example. Well, I might have said some unkind things to Detective Gumshoe in the past, but that's all in the past. It's, he's forgiven me, right? Uh, I, I see. Now I feel bad for the big guy. Her memories were stolen. The entire chain of them. Person in the raid red, red raincoat who pushed Kay off the tower. Said they came towards her from the direction of the stairs. From that we can deduce Kay was pushed over the railing on this side. The railing is about as high as my chest. It's unlikely that someone could have fallen from here accidentally. Hmm, I don't see any particular problems with this railing. Oh, she came back here. She was in the tree the whole time! Ow! Kay? Are you okay, Kay? Um, don't mind me! I was just admiring the view beneath this tree! <laughs> Did you just fall out of that tree? I didn't mean to fall, my foot slipped. Hello, it's me. You're a suspect, and yet you remained at the crime scene. That's not a smart thing to do. Even if you have memory loss, shouldn't you have realized this much? Don't bully the poor girl. This whole time, while you were playing this silly game of hide and seek, I've been worried sick about you. Are you angry with me? Of course I am. Answer me, what were you doing here? Did you think I'd let you off the hook that easily just because you have memory loss? But that's not it. I, I came here because I thought I could get your badge back. What? If I don't regain my memories, you'll never get it back. I thought if I went back to where I lost my memories, then maybe I would remember. If I could just remember killing her. <laughs> huh? You're still the same as you were before you lost your memories. Your thoughts and actions have always exceeded my expectations. Without a doubt, you are the K Farday I know so well. However, I cannot approve your recklessness. I understand. And cut! Alright, from the top people, I need a little bit more emotion from you, Edward. You need to actually, you know, crack a smile or two, but K, your acting was spot on. You get zero style points, Miles. Or more like negative points. Here's how it's done. Okay, how about a hug? Uh, okay. Oh, well then. Mr. Shields. It was just a joke, honest. Hmm? We interrupt this program with breaking news about the Grand Tower murder case. Apparently there's a TV up here. The police believe the culprit is a teenage girl who is present at the, at the crime scene. She remains at large and the police continue to search for her whereabouts. Oh, there is a TV up here. I thought that was a sign. Oh dear, this is getting pretty serious. Well, gang, what's the plan? Should we split up and look for clues? That never works. We don't have much time. Indeed, it's only a matter of time before they find us here. So then, why don't you tag along for us with us for a while, okay? But I'll just call you trouble for you again. It pains me to say this, but I've got nothing left to lose at this point. Excluding my life, or my, you know, neck thing. It'd be a shame if I lost that at some point. Or my eyesight. <gasps> Mr. Edgeworth! That settles it. We're all in this together now. Miles, you're in charge of proving Kay's innocence. Failure is not an option. Yes, I understand. Okay, I want you to help Miles with his investigation as much as you can. 
Meanwhile, I'll do nothing but enjoy this nice thing I can't get. Y yes I'll do my best. Let's be quick about it, before the cops find us here. Unlike some people, Uncle Ray still has a lot to lose. Touches my nice hat. Cheech, if I lose the law office, I'll never be able to face Gregory. This man. I'm glad he's on our side. Hmm. See if anything fell out when she fell out of the tree. Nope. I wonder where... I wonder where her giant key went. Did, was that in her... collection of things? I know the outfit was. But I don't remember if the key was there. Yes, can I help with something? I came back here because I thought I might remember something. Could you again go over what you told me before? Um, well... It was raining, so I stood under the cherry tree to take shelter. That's only in Kingdom Hearts 2. But neither were her shoes. I wish that was important in some way, but I doubt it is. I'm trying to think of a proper joke, but I can't figure out a way to shoehorn it in. Oh well, I'll just sneak one in like a ninja, I guess. And then a red... A person in a red raincoat appeared. That person pushed me and I fell. Can you tell me about the person in the red... in the raincoat? I'm sorry, I don't remember that much. No, wait. At, as the person approached me, I saw the moon just over their shoulder. The moon? Did I have a face? Uh, are we on day two? Yes, that's right. It's just a faint memory, but... I think the moon was in the exact same spot as it is now. It was floating just above the cherry tree. She could see the moon behind the figure in the raincoat? The moon's always the culprit. This is a new piece of testimony. I'll be sure to keep it in mind. Updated Kay's memories. Mr. Edgeworth, for a while now, I feel like I'm on the verge of remembering something. Uh, not until Monday, Slash. What? Is that true? Well then, please speak freely. Say whatever comes to your mind. Um, okay. I remember a faint scent. It was a wonderful smell coming from the counter of the food stall. I followed the fragrance only to find a perfectly sculpted burger resting on two golden buns. The tender and juicy patty made my taste buds sing with joy. Yes, I can remember what I thought at that moment. I want seconds! I... I don't think this memory has anything to do with the case, but... Mm -hmm. I can't help but wonder if that was Robin in the other one. In... The original version. You called yourself the great thief Yadagarasu. You prided yourself on being a noble thief who steals the truth. Do you remember anything about that? Well, um... Aha! Maybe I was called a noble thief because I won the Nobel Prize. How do you remember what that is? That's noble, not noble. And they don't give prizes for thievery. Let's see if she recognizes the Jammin' Ninja. I am terribly sorry. Even if you give me that, I don't- I still don't remember anything about you. N no I wasn't planning on giving it to you. Okay, what do you think about that? <sighs> At least she has a unique thing for this. I was looking at 
things. Do you like badges, Mr. Edward? Um, not particularly. But you're always carrying around badges. It's just a part of my job, and this badge is also a piece of evidence. It's also yours, but... I see, so you carry things... Like... You carry around things that you don't like in order to strain your... Train and strengthen your spirit. Uh, that is just clearly wrong. Hmm... Sadly, we don't have... We don't have her journal. Now, let's see. Hmm, let's... Logically. an issue, but I'm not sure if I have the right piece yet. Can you look at this TV? Oh, wow. Uh... That's not good. Is there a helicopter above us, or is this from the moon? The angle's not right to be from the moon. We're seeing live footage from the 50th floor. The investigation will continue throughout the night. 50th floor? Isn't that the meeting room of the PIC headquarters? That's right! We can see the shadow of the investigators behind those blinds! Uh-oh, looks like making a clean getaway just got that much harder. Seems we have no choice but to cleverly evade the eyes of the media. Maybe Uncle Ray should become a spy instead of an attorney. If worse comes to worse, I may have to use Mr. Shields as a decoy. <laughs> Miles, just now you were thinking something terrible, weren't you? Uh... N no I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. I'm surprised it's the thing I can investigate. Here's to be a live news broadcast. In other words, what we see in the screen is how the Grand Tower looks at this very moment. Does that mean we can be seen on the TV too? No, the camera's too far away, and it's too dark to see us clearly. You're in, like, a clear, grassy field. I feel like they'd definitely be able to see at least, like, the outline of you. <laughs> There's no need to worry. It clearly would be bad if Kay were seen on TV right now. Of course. He's not gonna actually answer that. He's not gonna be like, yeah, I was thinking something terrible. Gives me a live news broadcast. Blah, 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 blah. Time. Gives me a live news broadcast. <laughs> okay, what am I supposed to be introducing here? They're investigating the wrong floor, right? Yeah, they're on floor 49. You know how many floors this building has? Of course, 50 floors, right? Just above the place where the PIC can conducts their practi practically illegal cover-ups. Couples are wishing for love. Kinda ironic, don't you think? So what's this dark area over the 50th floor? Maybe it's the Tunnel of Love. Those are always dark, eh? The viewing platform we're on now should be directly above the PIC meeting room. However, the late at night investigation is taking place two floors below us. This is a clear contradiction! Was there a mistake in the pamphlet? No, no, rather. More natural to assume this building has a hidden 51st 
floor. What? Isn't it more natural to assume that they are just investigating a different floor? Can people not count? I don't think that's really very well hidden. If people can just count the windows. Uh, okay. I see, so that's where the tunnel of love is. Aw, oh, she's so pure and gullible. It's breaking Uncle Ray's heart. Then why don't you take this opportunity to be more serious for once? You just don't get it, Miles. I joke around to make things easier for you. On the contrary, it's painful jokes only make things harder for me. Is that how you guys feel about me? What does that have to do with anything? Hmm. I wonder if Kale say anything about this. Hmm, okay, never mind. Didn't say a dang thing! Where they keep their Pokemon? I bet if Kay was here! She'd be doing that, but she is here. You can go in there. There's a light in there, but I guess that doesn't matter. Got anything to say, Ray? I can't believe this incident is already on the news. I wonder how they caught wind of it. Maybe they're doing a live report from that helicopter over there. Uncle Ray is gonna be on TV! Miles, make sure you tune in! What's he thinking at a time like this? This. Hmm. Well, I have to logic something together. I have logic together that I need to put things together. Hmm. Ow! My pain! Oh yeah, I knew there was something I was forgetting. I didn't actually activate my death counter thing. Need to think it over one more time. Hmm. Maybe I'm missing something. So, like, I can see why these where these things go together, but I'm not sure what. Again, I'm not sure what the game wants me to say. How it always is with this game. One second. Boop. Forty-five. Forty-five failures. Like, there's no way he could have came from behind this thing. I don't know if there's anything else here, so... I have to present something to her. The person in the red raincoat was really was here. Are you sure that they were walking towards you from behind the stand? Yes, that's right. They walked straight up to me. There must be some evidence. Maybe that person left footprints behind. There's no ground behind the sand. No one could walk to you there. Then, was that person a ghost? There are no such thing as ghosts. Uh, oh, is it one of those so-called contradictions? There's such things as ghosts, technically. I 
feel like he would know that by now, with Maya and everything, but I guess he didn't really care. Um... This letter... It's a promise I made, right? If you can call conspiring to commit a crime a promise, then yes, it is. A crime? But I was the one who wrote this letter, right? This letter is not handwritten. You cannot be certain that you wrote it. Is that so? Does it say it's not handwritten? Hmm. Doesn't recognize that letter, though. What about this flower? Nope. Alright, well, I guess we'll use the other logic thing. Yeah, I did moon in case. No? Yes, no such thing as ghosts. Definitely not ghosts that take over teenagers and, you know, give my rivals advice whenever they're having trouble. All right, I'm definitely missing something that ties it all together. Or I'm really dumb, one of the two. Can I examine this really? Anything else though? It must be something to do with talking to her. Like she's the only new thing here. It can be raining and you still see the moon. Just We can try that. Well, no. Hey, oh, is it just these? That's what I was going for, but I didn't- I guess I should read more. Yep, there we go. I should learn how to read. I recall Kay's testimony. The person in the raincoat approached her from behind the candy stand. He was the candy man. Then, this person supposedly pushed Kay over the railing opposing the stand. Moreover, Kay said she saw the moon over the person's shoulder. However, earlier I confirmed that the moon is floating in the opposite direction. And on the night Kay lost her memories, it seems the moon was in the exact same spot. Therefore, the positions of the moon and the person in the raincoat don't match up. Her memories have probably become confused. After all, had she actually been pushed over the railing, she couldn't have survived the fall. Perhaps I should question Kay's memory of where she fell. You have to talk to her. Wait, hold on. Wait, no, sorry. Kay was not pushed over the railing on this side. After all, if you fell from here, you wouldn't even be alive in the first place. Uh, but I'm certain I was standing under the cherry tree. Am I good? Am I a g g g g g g ghost 
Do I not exist? If I fell, then the only place I could have fallen was over the railing. Well, maybe the ground just opened up from under you and swallowed you up. The ground here can open up? How? No, no, it was just a joke, okay? Please don't take it so seriously. Uh, did you say my name or were you just saying K? No. Strange as it may sound, that may actually be the truth. Even if it is only a small chance, it matters not. Let's try searching the area around the tree. La -dee -da -dee -da. It's a trap door! Wow, what a thing! Kay could not have fallen over the rim. There must be something around here that proves it! I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Mm, it's gotta be these roots. This is the root of the problem. Flower petals are scattered all over the ground. The blossoms are not in. not yet in full bloom, so the strong winds here must be the culprit. I've discovered another criminal in our midst the strong winds. Personally, I'd appreciate it if they spent a little more effort cleaning these petals up. Probably, like, just happened. This is... the story of a girl. Fell from a tower and lost her whole world. Looks like it's a maintenance hatch. Kay, maybe you fell down here? Nah, just kidding. There's no way something like that could happen. I'm sorry, I just can't remember it. No, that was just a joke. No need to take it so seriously. Right, so what's a joke? When should I take you seriously, then? When, indeed. Well, if you jumped into Uncle Ray's arms. Mr. Shields! Hey, come on, Miles. It was just a joke. A joke, you know? Oh, I get it. No one ever takes you seriously. Ouch. That, that, that stung a bit. Poor Ray. An extra floor beneath the fi between the 50th floor and the viewing platform. Why didn't anyone notice it? Were they all hypnotized? Is this an anime? Normally you'd notice it. I mean, how can you hide an entire floor? You can't. That's where the problem lies. No one noticed something that should have been easily noticeable. In other words, it must be impossible to access the 51st floor through normal means. I see. Maybe there's a secret portal or something. Okay, now's not the time to be thinking with portals. Uh, had to throw that one in there, huh? Is this chapter going to end with cake? I'd like you to recall the hatch at the base of the cherry tree. Isn't it normal to assume there's a room on the other side of the maintenance hatch? Heh, <laughs> Uncle Ray likes where you're going with this. Let's hurry and check it out. That's just a thing we can just access at any time, huh? Not even locked? There we go. Now let's see here. This is... Looks like there's a lot of stuff down there. Is this what they call a storeroom? There's no doubt about it. Well, this is where Kay fell down. Of course. It's so obvious. And with this, the mystery is solved. No, not yet. Still have the mystery of the person in the red hood. Who was walking in midair. Now, now, let's get not get greedy, shall we? We found the storeroom, so let's wrap things up here. I suppose you have a point. Hmm, it does seem to warrant an investigation. It does seem to warrant an investigation. Investigation complete. Well, if it isn't Miles Edgeworth. Oh, it's her. Different person. It's Emma. Hooray. Not who I was expecting to show up. Emma, what are you doing here? I heard about the case from Detective Gumshoe. Since I was already in the area, I thought I might as well check out the crime scene. And I got a cool hat. 
This girl's name is Emma Scott. She's a high school student studying in Europe to become a forensic scientist. That's quite the uh, character description. She's the younger sister of my former boss and witness in one of the trials two years ago. Detective Gumshoe told me everything over the phone. He sounded really upset. Have you? He said you lost your badge at the Grand Tower and Kay became a mummy. Uh, please calm down. Kate has not had any children. I thought you left Europe for just, just a few days ago. Don't tell me you've come back already. Yep, and I brought my teacher from abroad, too. He needed an interpreter, so I volunteered to help. Is your If your teacher cannot speak English, why aren't you with him right now? He can still communicate with people. Don't underestimate the importance of body language. He's a... He's a cat. <laughs> that doesn't really count as a language. Kind of a language. But enough about that. What happened to Kay? Is she alright? My, my, what a good friend. Isn't this great, Kay? Um, yeah. Uh, who are you? Are you Mr. Edward's new assistant? Ha <laughs> ha, on the contrary, my dear. My, I'm, I'm Ray Shields, head of the Edward Law Offices. Edward Law Offices? Wait, you mean like defense attorneys? Ick! I'm sick of defense attorneys ever since I ran into that bird guy. Mr. Edwards, when do you suddenly become attorney? N no, it's not like that. Now that I think about it, it's a rather complicated working relationship. Don't sweat the details. Let's start with an in introductory hug. Why'd you become a defense attorney, Mr. Edward? Hey, don't just ignore me. Don't just ignore Uncle Ray. Because I don't approve at all. Um... Well, why don't we continue this conversation down below? That's right. The police could arrive any second now. Huh? Miss Redworth? Who's she? I'll explain later. Just say that's Kay. First, we have to go down the hatch. Oh, what are we drinking? Ah, okay. Guess I'll be joining the uh, defense team. I'll explain about that, too. Listen to that clap. Well then, let's go go to the storeroom. To be continued, right now. It took like an hour. That took an hour. Ugh. Why did that take an hour? It felt like 20 minutes. And when you're reading everything, I guess. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. It actually took two hours. Pretty dark down here. I can't see a thing. Hope I don't accidentally hug someone. Watch your footing, Emma. Ouch! I think I hit my head. Okay, be careful not to slip. Take your time coming down. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm, the last switch should be in here, around here somewhere. This, this is... Very weird bed. This is the hidden 51st floor. Is it being used as a storeroom? We'll need to investigate it thoroughly. Every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Did, did you just draw on a pamphlet? Mr. Edward, please tell me about the case. Right then. Uh, where should I begin? That's... Well, you see, about ten years ago, my father... I think it was more than ten years ago, actually. Probably like twenty, but I don't know. I see. This is certainly a serious situation. Why does she look like she's having so much fun? 18. Thank you, Sydney. Hey, hey, it looks like you're in a bind, prosecutorial attorney, Edgeworth. I'm not a defense attorney. Also, that's a tor oh, that's a horrible title. And there's no such thing as a prosecutorial pros. That's not even a word I can say. That's how much it doesn't exist. This looks like a job for science. Don't you worry. I've got everything in here in my bag. Are you sure you're up for this, Emma? Of course. So once again, it's a good to be working with you, Mr. Edward. And I'm glad to be working with you as well. It's brilliant. I don't know if I'm ever going to finish that piece of artwork. I'm really bad at collars. Plus, now I kind of want to give her a hat. <laughs> or at least the badge. But the badge is on the wrong side. Looks like we got ourselves a rather another cute assistant. So what's the plan? 
That lift looks pretty suspicious to me. That is pretty suspicious. It looks like it goes down. I'm curious as well. But first we should investigate this room. Okay, if you find out anything, be sure to tell Uncle Ray. I want to go over here and look awkwardly at this wall for another five minutes. If I remember something, I'll let you know. Yes, please do. Uh, Emma? Roger, I'm ready to support. Well, let's begin the investigation. Investigation complete. How many references are in this room? I can already see this stupid car. I don't like that being there. Wait, there's the stupid blue badger guy right there, I think. And there's a steel samurai. Hello, Sonosuke. I feel like I should recognize these, but I don't. Oh my gosh. Just, he's just over there in the corner, staring at us. Unblinking. Unflinching. Also, this big guy's here, too. What's this big thing of money? And what is this? Like, why is there a... What's the stupid thing's name? The Legend of the Hidden Temple? Why is, like, the Hidden Temple's bed here? Are we gonna go to the Shrine of the Silver Monkey? Or the Shrine of the Blue Badger, I guess. Oh, there is a badger mask. Oh, jeez. There's three of them. One of them's pink, because obviously that's the female one. Glad that's not in, uh, Majora's Mask. That'd be the true villain. Is it? I don't remember finer details, because I'm bad. The statue! Yes, it's some sort of- is this some sort of new fact? No, this evidence from a case that I was previously involved in. Maybe it was called an Alice Red statue. There was supposed to be two of them, one real and one fake, but no matter which one this is, it's unnatural for it to be turn up- to turn up in a place like this. Mr. Edgeworth, you've really seen a lot of cases, huh? Am I being shot? Gotcha! yippee ki -yay, Got me a scoop! Gah! My eyes! Y'all ain't... You ain't getting away from the great lot of camera that easily. Reckon y'all must be criminals. I'll snap you 16 shots before y'all can even say cheese. We're not criminals, Lotta. I, I know who you are. Really? Look at that HD Lotta. You ain't fool my camera of justice with those words. Hmm, you are... huh? You're... Ain't you that heinous prosecutor from back then? Who are you calling heinous? This is Lotta Hart. You're the photographer I've dealt with during my past cases. I see your distinctive accent and the chatterbox mouth haven't changed a bit. Just look at that face! You're, you're obviously up to no good. It seems she has a bad impression of us. Now it's time to pay for your dues. Stay and watch, steal while I photograph y'all. We only came here to investigate. Lies. Y'all think you can fool me like that? Mr. Edgeworth, she's not listening at all. She seems harmless. Let's just leave her be for now. She's just gonna stay there? Taking pictures of us in this room we're not allowed to be in? Hmm. Okay. There's a transceiver sitting next to all these trophies. Seems like they were lined up together on purpose. Looks like it's still got batteries in it. Might come in handy later, so I'll pick them up for now. I'll be sure to put them to good use before I turn it into the police. 
That sounds just like what a certain great thief would say. Scientifically speaking, this must be a wooden icebox. This chain is tied around to keep the cold from escaping. Probably. No, Emma, wouldn't this be a costume trunk? It's made from wood that repels bugs in order to protect the clothes inside. Of course you would know this. It's not from my days of wanting to be a steel samurai. Ah, I see, of course. That's another possible theory. If your clothes are stored in a cold place, it would be nice and cool to wear in the summer. I guess she's sticking to, to her icebox theory. These are... What is it? The items displayed on the shelf here, if I recall correctly. They're all evidence from past cases that I was involved with. What are they doing here? Hmm, I guess it would make this place a PIC's evidence storeroom, huh? These items should be kept in the care of the police. Don't they keep evidence at the prosecutor's office? Only for current trials. However, once a verdict has been reached, the evidence is transferred over to the police department and stored in the evidence room. But it looks like the evidence has been stored here instead. There's no point in worrying about it. For now, I should try to examine everything. It looks like some of the evidence have tags on the front of them. And there are numbers written on the tags. Maybe they're ID numbers of the evidence? No, based on the large the numbers are and the nature of these items, I'd say... These are prices. They're oxygen... Or oxygen... Oxygen off the evidence? <laughs> prices? If that's the case... Wow! These are ridiculously expensive! I'm more concerned with the high prices than the legality of this whole affair. Evidence on display. I should inspect every nook and cranny. Specifically every nook and cranny. What is this? What a cute doll. Kind of looks like the Steel Samurai. It's the Iron Infant, son of the Steel Samurai, and the Pink Princess. I'm not going to say that out loud, but everyone knows I'm thinking it. He was destined to become the hero of justice from the moment of his birth. So much pressure rests on his teeny baby shoulders. And yet he carries himself with grace and dignity that belittles, belies a toddler of his age. Hello, Mr. Edgeworth. Are you even listening to me? Hmm? Uh, uh, of course I am. Aw, oh, how cute. Stuffed animals so fluffy. From Gord Lake. Hmm? Hang on one second. This is a Gordy thing? I'm back. It should be in the care of the prosecutor, prosecutor assigned to that case right now. Why is it sitting here in a place like this? Huh? This little guy is missing his left horn. Oh, wrong person. Huh? This little guy is missing his left horn. Hmm, his left horn. I'm pretty sure it was already missing when I first saw it. Then this must be a defective product. I demand a recall. Now that I think about it, given, giving a broken toy to a country's president does sound strange. Yeah, I did that one a while ago. Uh, uh whenever that was. Oh, okay. That does look more familiar now that I've seen it up close. I didn't actually even realize that was a horn until they said horn. This storeroom contains items to be sold, doesn't it? It's unfortunate, but the possibility seems quite high. I suspect some nefarious individual has been selling evidence here. And people actually pay money for this stuff? Apparently, some people do. The price tags approve. Different strokes for different folks, I guess. What's this one? 
Looks like some of the evidence have tags in front of them. There are numbers written on the tags. It's not exactly what I was trying to look at, but... No, based on how large... Why is this... I can't skip this, but they've already said this. That's strange. Only this one spot is empty. But still has a price tag, just like all the others. Indeed. Furthermore, there is a part of this cloth that is not covered in dust. Perhaps something was placed here not long ago. I see! Sure seems like it. Hmm, but... What could it have been? The star-shaped mark on the dust, I wonder. Could it be related to a certain piece of evidence? I have a star, yeah. Um, I'm not really sure if this is Yen or not. I would assume so, but it's possible the translators... Yeah, it's in that currency, from that country. I would assume that the translators also, like, translated the numbers, if that makes sense. Just to make it more relatable. For those that don't know the, uh... Exchange rate. Can you give an observation? Sure, say whatever you want. I may be reading things off and, like, playing the game for myself, but, you know, if you're experiencing it with me, I don't care if you make idle comments. Yeah, if they're talking about being expensive, because... What is the transfer rate of yen to... Dollars? How dare you, Rislain! I did not give you permission to make such an idle comment. I said idle comments. <laughs> Yen is about a penny, okay. Wait, about a penny? My dog, Yen? Is my dog worth only one Yen? She's a penny. A small bottle. I've seen this piece of evidence before in the past. Huh? Is that all? Uh, yes. What more did you want me to say? Um, I need to make the memo. That note to self. Even the most boring objects sound like works of art when Mr. Edward describes them. Ugh, don't read a memo like that out loud. Hello, Gum. Ah, okay. Ink and a lamp. Both are evidence that I've handled before. Why is all this stuff here linked to you? Many of the items here are objects that I've handled just a short while ago. But it's probably only a coincidence that they're all collected here. A coincidence? I never thought I'd hear you say that word, Mr. Edward. No matter how improbable, if it fits with the facts, then we must accept it as the truth. Isn't that the same with science? Aha! We should discuss science in detail someday, Mr. Edworth. What about this thing? There's nothing of interest here. Really? There's like a door handle here. Can you not open that? Mm. Hmm. Eureka! Eureka! This dust pattern matches up perfectly with the base of the candelabra. It's like that... It's likely the killer got the candelabra from this very storeroom. Does that mean... The candelabra is also a piece of evidence? It's quite possible, however, that is not the issue here. The murder weapon originally came from this storeroom. We must keep that in mind. Examine this? I can. This mannequin! I've got it! According to my scientific reasoning, this is something you encounter in one of your past cases, right? Uh, no, it's not. It's not one of mine. First time I've seen this mannequin. Seems completely unrelated to the other objects in this room. There's no price tag in front of this mannequin either. So then, why is it here? Uh, not that I can think of, OP. 
Wow! Talk about bad taste! I've never seen such gaudy desks before! Just what kind of person would use something like this? Oh, this was mine from about a week ago! The tabletop is being supported by four naked men. This design is quite painful to look at. I'm glad I got rid of it. Certainly in poor taste. Maybe this is also related to one of your past cases? No, none of the cases I had would involve a person with such bad taste. Untrue! You have actively handled cases with Larry in them. And he has terrible case, terrible taste. Or at least I hope not. Um... What was his name? Probably had something like this, right? The guy with the... That had all the bling? That killed Maya, or Mia? Yeah, red, white, or blue corp, that's it. He probably had something stupid like that. It's a huge stack of money piled up here, how unrefined. They're all $100 bills! Talk about big bucks! I mean, you, you know exactly where my brain was going with that. How many times... So, how many times yearly salary do you think this is worth? Leave my salary out of this. It's currently zero because I quit, though. What's this? It looks like a giant head! If I recall, this is the head of Mrs. Mrs. Monkey. I believe it was from a case I was involved with in the past. It's impressive how they were able to get such a large object into this room. Hmm, Miss Monkey, huh? Doesn't really have a nice ring to it. Maybe you remember the name wrong, Mr. Edworth. Imp that, impossible! That can't be true! Is, is it is it not true? So is Lada just gonna stand here? Is that all you're here for? So, what y'all what are y'all folks doing in a suspicious, suspicious place like this? I I was about to ask you the very same question. Why are you here? For the people of the world and for myself, of course. I'm a social justice photographer after all. And I'm here for my fans. Everyone loves this boy. So I gotta take photo after photo after photo after photo for my big old school. Even though I won't be able to talk to her normally when she's like this. Sorry, Edgeworth, but she's always like this. Having a normal... Trying to have a normal conversation with her? <laughs> Gonna need a lot of luck there. Also, Bork Bork. That's exactly why I didn't want to let her out, but she wanted out. Don't you think it's kind of creepy how these masks are all lined up in such a dark place? Hmm, Emma, are you not good with horror movies? No, no, no way! Uh, horror movies are so un unscientific. Like the guy who came from the lake? Like, ugh, he would have drowned. So she's scared of them. I won't rest until I've suspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. The hook here is obvious, but I have to examine everything. See ya, Greninji. Thanks for hanging out. These are murder case files. <gasps> what are those doing here? By all, race, by all rights, they should be kept in the prosecutor's building or the courthouse, but... Seeing that someone has removed them. Something is afoot, and, they are, and we are none the wiser. The Steel Samurai, warrior of Neo Tokyo, and Nickel Samurai. The Nickel Samurai always seem to be kind of smug by comparison, and his slender build doesn't look cool at all. I definitely prefer the Steel Samurai. Hmm. Seems she has good taste. <laughs> of course. I just wish he said just, I agree. And there's the, and she's just like, huh? And that's all that's all that happens. What TV show are those masks from? I'm not very familiar with it, but I believe it's called The Students of the Starry School. I'm not familiar with it, but here's the entire summary. Each member of the class is a hero of justice. So I guess there's a red and white caps are part of their school uniforms. And maybe the number of eye slits on the mask correspond to the class rankings. 
See, the one left is ranked number one, the one on the right is number two, and so on. Oh, I see. So that's how it works. If that's the case, the student with the lowest rank would have a mask full of holes. I guess we'll have to watch the show to find out. I'm sure it airs every Saturday morning at 11 o'clock. Yeah, despite the giant figure right beside his, right behind his desk. That everyone can see when they enter the room. That this mask is the mysterious global hero. Oye, Onya Nankopan? Kopan? Why are you so surprised? Mr. Edward, don't you know? Everything about this show is shrouded in mystery. From the production company to the broadcast times. Even the merchandise is hard to find. Wouldn't that mean the company simply went bankrupt? It's Captain Saipan! He's really popular in Europe. All the kids and even the adults dress up like him. I think the flower on his head would be a little too much. Nothing of interest here. There is a guy, like, right there! What about these? When you think of hero heroines from the Steel Samurai universe, she's the first to come to mind. How is he saying that out loud? That's right! I love the Pink Princess, too! Emma, you watch this kind of show? Yeah, of course! You like it, too, don't you, Mr. Edward? Uh, no, uh, I, I wouldn't go that far. I've only dabbled one episode or two. Really? Since you had a Steel Samurai figure in your office, I thought for sure. So even Emma has noticed it. What do you mean even Emma? Gumshoe would notice that. Eureka! Eureka! The Jamma Ninja mask of Kaid with her. Perhaps it was originally attached to this hook. That sounds plausible, scientifically speaking. In other words, K came here? It's quite likely, but for what purpose? Maybe she was going to steal something from this place. A great thief who steals the truth, huh? No, I don't think we can answer that question at this time. What does it say normally? Various master plays here? This is even one of the steel samurai. Bark. Yeah, of course she did. Too bad that uh, the Jam and Ninja isn't probably going to be a thing too much longer. If it even is anymore. Sorry, Penny's really anxious about something in there. I don't know what. There's like literally nothing that could possibly be happening. Scientifically speaking, it's just a bunch of random masks. It certainly does look like a hodgepodge of collection of masks. Hmm, this hook is... It looks like the hook to hang a mask from. I wonder what mask used to be here, even though we just identified it. You're not wrong, OP, with how many times it's come up. Like, even if it's just in the background. Alright, is that everything that I need to look at? Also, where'd Lada come from? From behind the statue, I guess. Hello, Kay. Yes? Can I help with something? Nope. Can we investigate the badger? I don't think so. I can only re reach the monkey. I can't reach the car either. It's just kind of there taunting me. Alright, what do you got to say, Ray? Oh man, Uncle Ray's heart is pounding up a storm. 
surrounded by so many cutie pies in such a small, cramped room. <sighs> Mr. Shields, try to be more serious. <laughs> it was just a joke. Uncle Ray is keeping a close watch over little Kay. So you can continue your investigation without worry. You watching over Kay is exactly what I'm worried about. I'm not going to examine the elevator. Logic. Logic powers activate. Money plus money equals profit. From the price tags attached to the pieces of evidence and the huge stash of cash, it's clear that buying and selling of evidence was being carried out here. In the hidden 51st floor, evidence was being trafficked. This clearly means something. Seems further investigation is needed about the dealings that went on in this place. If only there was a witness, we could just ask, th ask them. A witness? There is one. Right here. Yes, can I help with something? Let's see, do you remember this stuffed animal? That's a cute stuffed animal. Is it a bull? Yes, it appears so. I found this at a crime scene with you just the other day. Not really just the other day. Oh, one of the horns is broken. I guess even a stuffed animal can get injured. <gasps> My head. It hurts. What's wrong? For some reason, looking at that stuffed animal makes my head... I'd better put this away for now. Hmm... Oh yeah, I didn't check to see if he actually drew on this thing. He did. <laughs> More or less. He just erased this entire top part and then drew in another... Another area. Or actually probably just erased the meeting room and drew storeroom on it. Hmm. Alright, Lada, are you a witness? So why did you come here? It's just judge photograph after all. It's a social justice. And allow me to guess the reason why you came here. Was it perhaps to expose the illegal evidence trafficking? Oh, I get it. We were trying to get a scoop on the secret dealings. Is she, like, using a DS? Is her scientific device a Nintendo DS? I modded my 2DS to not only stream games like a certain other person, but also to do science! Even though that's clearly not a 2DS, because it can flip open. Huh? How y'all know that much already? Well, I reckon there ain't no reason to hide it anymore, not that you even, like, asked. My sources tell me there's some kind of black market auction being held around these parts. What did you say? It was that old... dramatic music. So then all this evidence here is... Yep! They're the goods of auction for the auction. A lot of dirty money flying around here. I wanted to try to catch it with my own two eyes. My source gave me a whole bunch of info, but... I figured just hearing about it ain't all enough. Seeing is believing, after all. So I've been stuck... Stuck... Yeah. I've been staking the place from behind he this here statue since yesterday. Actually, this auction took place late last night and went on till early morning. Murder in the night of the black market auction. Could two events be related? Black market dealings on the Grand Tower. Guess I really hit the mother load this time. Ain't like that gorda thing or whatever. Where are all the items in the auction pieces of evidence? There was some normal stuff too, like stolen art and the like. I wouldn't consider stolen art to be normal. That, that seems pretty normal for a thing we're talking about. But I reckon the evidence was the star of the show here. These folks are law fanatics trying to get their hands on the latest good from the police. So that's what you wanted to get the pictures of, Miss Hart. Pretty much, they were meeting right under this very storeroom. So I watched them from up here. You said you were here since yesterday. 
Did you witness the entire event? It was a black market auction, after all. They followed a fairly detailed procedure. First, the participants entered the storeroom from the viewing platform at one at a time. When they got in, they each took one of the masks off the wall over there. Funny thing about those masks, they're all equipped with the voice changes. Itty bitty ones. That way they wouldn't be recognized. They wanted to protect their... I... Anim... An animo? You mean their anim... Animosity? Anonymy? I don't know. Words? Does it have the highest quality candy forbidden for adults? Yes. Probably. Yeah, that's it! Their anim... Anim... anim anonymity. Why not just say identity and make things easier for all of us, especially the one that has to read these things? After putting on the mask, they go down the lift. And the next fella would come right in. On the way back, it was the exact same thing, but in reverse. That's because I identify with her on a social level when it comes to that kind of stuff, Phoenix. Let's just say that uh, speaking like this is a lot easier than you would think. They come up here one by one and return the mask and head up to storeroom. Head up out of the storeroom. Wow, that's pretty thorough. And no one ever questioned that it was a bunch of Steel Samurai stuff and Blue Badger. Hmm, how many participants were there? Eleven people all together. I count each of them as they made their way down. What happened? I'll have you know I wasn't just laid up behind the statue entire time. Then where were you in the beginning? The beginning? Well, don't you worry yourself about that, you hear? So she was hiding behind the statue the entire time. I watched the folks coming in while lurking in the shadows, all secret agent-like. Note to self, secret agents like to lurk in shadows and have giant orange afros. And then they use that their lift there to get down the auction site. After they went down, I watched the whole thing from the lift. Did that lift stay down the entire time? No, it came back up. But there's a teeny gap in the floor there. There's a bit of space between the floor and the lift platform, you see? So I could see just about everything that was going on down there. Then did you see the person who was conducting the auction? Eh? Uh, well, yeah. You betcha I did. What kind of story would this be if I didn't know the conductor was? Well, it wouldn't be a train, I suppose. The conductor, huh? It seems like I'll need to ask her for more details. Do you have any more information about the so-called conductor? You know, I came here to get more of a scoop. What, do you think, what makes you think I'll give up my info to you all willy-nilly? Basically, what you're saying is you don't know. Ah, I see. So that's why she won't answer. What can I say? I couldn't even tell how old they were, or if they were a guy or a gal. Can you tell me what the person was wearing at the time? They had on a white jacket with a purple flower, and they were wearing a white gloves. But you know, that don't mean much when I have no earthly clue who they really are. So the conductor's identity was hidden, just like the participants. That's right! They had on mask and voice changer just like everybody else. What kind of mask did this person wear? It was... a uh, Zervan mask, I reckon. A what? Is that an alien bear? A Z Zervan? What in blazes is that supposed to be? Mr. Edward, you don't know about Zervan? He's the sworn enemy of the global hero of Nakaban. <laughs> Whatever you say that... However you say that name. Oh, of course I don't like him. Zervan, the ruler of time. Seriously, who hasn't heard of him? Most people, I'd imagine. Since the conductor wore a mask, I assume you were not able to see their face. Not even a teeny weeny bit, even though there's clearly a gap what their mouth would be. Even after I came all this way for my big scoop. Uh, this whole store is turning out to be nothing but a fool's gold. I mean, is it? Just knowing and, like, having proof that such a thing is going on seems like a big scoop. Don't really need to know who's involved. Looks like it's clearly whoever owns this building. 
That set of clothes seems familiar. Perhaps I should show her that piece of evidence. You mean the one that's wearing a white coat and has a purple flower? Hmm. Seems too obvious to me. I'll be right back. And just leave you guys here with a lot of face. This music is jamming? No, flame. This is the jamming. Gosh, I can't even get your characters right. Anyways, I'm back. Uh, you said the conductor wore a white jacket with purple gloves with. With purple gloves. With purple flower and white gloves. That's right. Sure looked spiffy for a criminal mastermind. Miss Hart, did they look anything like this? Hey, that's it. That's the conductor. Other than the fact that they're dead. H hold your horses. You telling me the conductor is dead? She is the victim of a case we are investigating. Her name's Jill Crane. Have you heard of her? Can't say I have. So she was a lady, huh? What kind of gal dressed like that? She get her kicks by fooling me into thinking she's a guy. I doubt. I doubt that was her intention was to deceive you. I think it was to hide her identity, which would be to deceive someone. Setting that aside, we have established something of major importance. The victim was the conductor of the black market auction. I see. So the conductor was killed. Then that might explain. Explain what, Miss Hart? Ah, no, 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 it's nothing honest. Miss Hart, you clearly sounded suspicious just now. Exactly. I'm telling you I ain't. Huh, can't be. Sorry, were you trying to say something? No, I ain't. I ain't saying nothing. Please don't be like that. Just tell us. How many times I gotta tell y'all? I'm not, I'm a journalist. Information what pays the bills. I can't just go around spouting everything I know. I've already said too much. I got nothing left to say to y'all. Th then what if I found some fingerprints for you? W uh, what good would that do for me? I don't want none of your dusty old prints. Why don't you fool to follow my example and do some investigating on your own? Oh, I guess you won't tell us anything. Not to worry, Emma. Just leave it to me. 
I have a certain method of drawing out information from those who wish to hide it. It's called talking to them and waiting for them to be dumb enough to tell me on their own. If my opponent's lips are sealed, I'll be the one to unseal them. Let us begin. I beat Larry. You'll be no match for me. You know, I think you two were in the same case together once. Analyze my opponent's demeanor. I ain't telling you nothing, so quit wasting my time. She seems rather impatient, as if she's trying to cut off the conversation. I must be careful with my time. I won't be have long to consider my responses. I'm almost certain that she's hiding something from me. That's where I'll begin my attack. Now, time for the first move. Logic chess. Um... Don't you think you're overreacting a bit? Let's just calm down. I'm always calm, now leave me alone. Real journalist always keeps her cool. Speaking of journalists, I have something of interest to tell you. A few days ago, I met another self-proclaimed journalist. She spoke with an accent quite similar to your own. S she spoke like me. Then m maybe it was... Is your sister? Haven't you realized it yet? I have you cornered! What? What are y'all yapping at? I don't actually remember who we were talking about. I was a wasted remark. Ow, my time. I have no idea who she's talking about. <laughs> Must be careful with my time. I'll have long to consider my responses. Can I examine my organizer to remember who that was? Uh... See, another journalist. <laughs> okay, I looked up a picture of her. Yeah, I do remember her vaguely, but I don't remember anything good about her, but if it's not her sister... Oops, wrong one. I didn't know it would reset to that. No way, Jose! I ain't spilling my guts to someone I have no connection with. I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of question. Maybe I should try another line of attack. Okay. Yes, it was your student! Nicole Swift. She has a distinct way of speaking, one very much like your own. Furthermore, she said that she had a mentor. She could it have been referring to you? Oh! Uh oh, you know Nicole! Well, ain't that a fun little coincidence? Where'd y'all meet? Wait. No, 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 no. Stop trying to get me to spill the beans. Phew, that was a close call. Seems that she lets down her guard when she talks about Miss Swift. This could be a useful clue. I want you to tell me everything you know right now. Perhaps I should use that clue. Say I have no connection with you, Miss Hart. But don't we have a mutual acquaintance with your apprentice? Oof! Oh, uh, well, uh, that's... I reckon it would be mighty cruel of me to give Nicole's friends a cold shoulder. Why don't you share us with us what you, what you know? Well, when you put it like that, I guess I could let you in on my scoop. Wait, wait, no, I ain't falling for that, for your nasty tricks, no sorry. Your scoop? Uh, no, just forget it. I, it ain't nothing important. Do you have a scoop? With such a, such a slip of the tongue. It's hardly becoming of a journalist. You have a scoop, don't you? Now tell us what it is. Also, do you have a scooter? Yeah, I can. All right, you got me. I'd be a perfect scoop, but I ain't telling you what it is. I'm gonna sell the story to a publisher. The information she's hiding could be vital to the investigation. Need to make her talk. Next, I will press her on the contents of her scoop. My power returns. I won't make a stupid mistake again. She may be quick to lose her temper, but she's even quicker to loosen her tongue. 
She's not a difficult opponent. How was I lucky? Lucky the first one didn't take any points from me, but... Taking forever? Well, excuse me! Can't all be prim and proper like a certain Princess Sivia. She's not a difficult pro opponent. Does your incident... Does your story pertain to some to an incident of some kind? Well, maybe it does, and maybe it doesn't. It's hardly a clear answer. Well, why are you always hollering at me? I ain't done nothing wrong. I just snuck in to do some investigative reporting. You didn't do anything wrong. That's a bold statement, considering you're currently trespassing on private property. Oof. Hey, hey, you're doing it too. Well, I guess the prosecutor's got the right to investigate wherever they please. Probably shouldn't mention anything about the current state of my employment and how I quit. There are far worse people in the world, you know. I reckon I'm a saint compared to that folks who murder. Considering what you just mumbled, mumble, mumble, is it possible your scoop has something to do with a murder incident? Hey, hey, I was, I was only talking in general terms just now. I mean, anyone who looked like a bag of roses compared to a murderer, right? I've had my share of takes with them. Sounds like you're just making excuses to me. All I did was gather in from the black market auction. Murder incident, I don't know anything about all of that. I ain't seen or heard nothing. I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. Maybe I should try another line of attack. This scoop of yours have something to do with the black market auction. What are y'all talking about? I, I don't know nothing about that, even though we just talked about it. Weren't you, try weren't you in the middle of infiltrating the black market auction? The only logical conclusion is that your story has something to do with it. Uh, you ain't getting any answers out from me with your logic and all that. I didn't hear nothing. Care about Miss Swift. You didn't hear what exactly? Did you hear something during the auction? Uh, no. That that's uh, I just heard a weird sound. That's all. Ain't even worth mentioning in my article. D just forget about it. There's no question. Something happened during the black market auction. She heard a strange sound. This could be a useful clue. Blah blah blah. Go back down the same thing. Do it again. It's a bold statement. Trespassing. You're doing it too. Better not mention that I'm fired right now and have no real reason to go against her like this. If she if she knew that, she'd probably be like, well, we're in the same boat then. Better both go sink with the ship. Perhaps I should use that clue. Didn't you say you heard of something strange during the auction? If it stuck out to you so much, it must not have been sound that you would normally hear. Oh, right, I quit, sorry. I just laid down my badge. I didn't actually lose any of my rights as a prosecutor. That takes like a week. Uh, and then I have to see my doctor if it lasts a week after that. If your prosecutorial rights remain af a week after you've lost your badge, please see it to your doctor. How you keep figuring out everything so quick? That that's right. I stumbled upon a murder in the middle of my stakeout. But please don't make me say any more. This is the biggest scoop I've had in a while. The murder that she overheard. Most likely the same incident we're currently investigating. This is bound to be a crucial information that I'm going to point out out loud. I'll finish this by confirming the credibility of her information. My power returns. She has no one left to run. It's time to deal with a final blow. Tell me more about the incident. In full detail. Well, my memory ain't what it used to be. Not much I can talk about. I ain't the most attentive gal in the whole world, you see? I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. Even if I could basically point out that you're a journalist, I don't believe that. 
Tell me the truth. I know you're hiding something from me. I ain't hiding nothing from anybody. And I ain't, I'm not even hiding that ain't what I actually said. I already told you everything I know. I don't have clues to proceed with this line of questioning. Do I have any clues at all? Is this the end of Blue's Clues? Did you really stumble upon a murder? Y'all call me a liar? Them fighting words. I'm a bona fide journalist. I would never publish lies in my articles. Faster and more accurate than anyone. That's my motto. Or motto, huh? This could be a useful clue. I should keep it in mind. Perhaps I should use that clue. I'd hardly expect a bona fide journalist to be so inattentive. Didn't you say your motto is to be faster and more accurate than anyone? I think I'd probably get hit pretty hard with copyright for that one, Ruslane. Also, I don't think I could write real good mysteries. Uh, well, that's... As I expected, the credibility of your information is suspect. But, but I know I heard... I even got proof. You have proof? You have proof? How is that possible? Explain yourself at once. I got me some... Uh, 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 wait, you heard that? Uh, well, I was just talking to myself. Y'all just go on and pay it no mind. Seems she's still hiding something. This is an important clue. Blah, 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 blah. Are you still hiding something from me? You just said you were hiding something from me. Perhaps I should use that clue. Gosh dang it. <sighs> Isn't this something you haven't told me yet? You have evidence regarding the incident you witnessed. Probably a photo. Something definitive enough to publish in an article. Ag! What in tarnation? Let me off the hook already. Fine, I'll tell you everything. I'll even show you the photo I took if you stop harassing me. That good enough for you? You know, I could just leave. Checkmate. Logic chest complete! You almost failed though, you loser. I lost. I really lost. Makes me wish I learned how to play chess from my grandma. Mouth of the South has been defeated. Now then, it's time to come clean. Tell me everything that you know. I was watching the auction, gathering info for my story. You didn't just watch though, you should got shocking photos too, right? Ugh. A little while after the auction started, Someone won a bid, and the conductor banged the gavel. Someone hollered, we'll finish the deal upstairs, or something like that. That ain't good, I thought to myself as I heard back to hide from the statue. Did you see whoever came up? Not quite, but I reckon the fella that came up was the winner of the bid. I could smell the buttery aroma of big, fat wads of cash. Buttery aroma? I can't imagine that at all. My money usually smells like green tea and steel. I reckon this room is where the bidders ponied up the dough for the purchases. Two of them talked for a while. Wait, there was a second person in the storeroom? You betcha, reckon it was the conductor. Then out of nowhere, one of them started screaming. I almost, almost scared my britches off. I rolled myself into a ball and kept on laying low. So you witnessed the murder? Well, I wouldn't say I witnessed it, but I definitely heard it though. Didn't you try to stop them? Just stop right there. That ain't even funny. What's a dainty little thing like me gonna do? Smack him with my afro? Dainty? After that, I heard me some rustling and bustling. Whole time, I was really regretting coming here with something fierce. Well, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, but nothing gets in the way. A lot of heart in her photos. This is my big scoop, and ain't no way I was gonna let it slip by. Bit later, I hear this loud thud. Figured it was my last chance to snap a photo being behind the statue. Well then, would you please show us the photo? Oh, why do I have to? This is... The person in the red raincoat who attacked Kay. The person in the red raincoat assaulted the victim in the store. Then attacked Kay on the roof? Only one person in this photo. Where is the victim? Yeah, I thought it was strange too. I could have sworn there were two of them, but when I looked, there was only the one. But that's gotta be the killer, don't you reckon? 
So she's saying the victim disappeared. You were able to tell this person was the culprit just by looking. Their hand was stained bright red, so I figured it was them. What happened to the auction after the murder? Nothing, really. It just went on like normal. I guess those rich folks didn't give a hoot. They just, they got some nerve. The nerve of a journalist is nothing to scoff at either. yet or is he still doing things look look check it out this lift has a sturdy platform and solid steel supports according to my calculations it should be able to support the weight of 50 mr. Edgeworths how do you know my weight I doubt there's enough space for that many people let alone 50 Edgeworths my ego is already filling up this room seems like it'd be used for moving goods I wonder about that if you pack them in real tight they just might fit all 50 of them all 50 Edwards? Impossible. That aside, there's still some more places in the store we need to examine. We'll examine the lift after we finish our investigation here. Impossible, huh? And how about 45? No, we might even be able to fit 48 people. I don't know, Ray's kind of taken up most of that on his own. Yeah, I guess I have to logic this. We assume that the murder took place in this storeroom. Then we must conclude that the body was here as well. Huh? Isn't that pretty obvious? You would be very surprised how often the obvious isn't obvious to people until I say something out loud. Do you remember how the participants left the auction? Of course. They passed through the storeroom on their way back from the auction. <gasps> exactly. The culprit had to hide this body so the participants wouldn't discover it. The real question is, where was the body hidden? Emma, would you mind lending me a hand? Leave it to me. What do you want me to do? Let's see. Use your luminal red... Region? Red? Red? Reagent? I don't know. I don't know how to say words. I'm not good at talking. I apologize. To test for a blood reaction, if you would, please. Okay, let me show you the power of science! The glint in her eyes is getting brighter by the second. Let's start by examining the ladder over there. Based on Miss Hart's picture, the person in the red raincoat headed towards that ladder. Chances are something will turn up if we check there. Just touch anything you want to examine. If you do that, you'll be able to spray the luminol at it. Oh. I instantly got a thing. If there's a blood stain in the spot where you sprayed, you get a reaction like this. Even so, ugh. No matter how many times I see the blood stains, they're always so gruesome. There's a blood reaction here, but it's kind of faint. Let's spray it with the luminol two or three more times. It'll be nice and clear. You can see it clearly now. Ugh. Looks even more gruesome than before. Do you understand how to look for bloodstains now? There are probably a few more bloodstains here, so why don't you give it a try, Mr. Edgeworth? Hmm. Yeah, the power of science! Nothing on the mask. Let's search the rest of the storeroom for bloodstains, just like that. First, let's look for a place to spray the luminal region. Luminal! Please examine the places you want to spray luminal on. Oh. Want to examine this spot? Let's... Oh, okay. Let's spray luminal on every suspicious looking nook and cranny. She took my words!
Mr. Edward, there's a blood stain here too. However, why is there a blood stain in a place like this? Maybe it's something had blood on it was stored inside. Hmm. There are places we still haven't checked yet. So let's continue our investigation. Dang it. Yes, yeah, say a body? Like my brain instantly went to the box for that. Is this little thing gonna be where they like stored the candle? She probably does. Hmm? I didn't find anything there, you know. What? Okay. Unfortunately, there were no reactions here. Okay. Why are you guys over there? I'll be on the thing here, I guess. Let's spray the luminol on every suspicious looking nook and cranny. There's a reaction. There's a reaction. It's a blood stain. Why in a place like this? Perhaps this is where the murder took place. <gasps> Looks like some of the blood dripped down the floor below. The suitcase in the painting? Uh, no. Looks like we found all the blood stains in the storeroom. Seems we have investigated the storeroom sufficiently. Oh, those. I did not see those, no. My eye is kind of drawn to this giant statue that looks like a bed. They know that because they sprayed the entire room until the entire place was just full of the stuff. And it's like, these are the only places that turn blue. I don't remember the suitcase very well, but I do recognize that painting. Mostly because of how big it is. Ah, of course. Oh. Okay. Maybe I should go back and, like, re-watch all of my things. <laughs> Except I would hate that, because I hate my voice. Uh, anyways, logic. The reason why we found the blood stain in the costume trunk is because the murderer hid the body in that box. I wonder who won the bid for it. The trunk, I mean. That, I don't know. Yeah, it seemed like most of these were just references to Investigations 1, which makes sense. But... I say it would have been nice to see some of, uh, see more of the F Ace Attorney 1 things, too. I mean, I guess the picture's there, but he doesn't talk about it. In a certain way, everything worked out exactly as someone wanted. <sighs> yeah, the stupid blue badger. Why don't we get to investigate that? Why isn't that the murder weapon? I'll insult, insult Brilly anytime I want. I know the message, the important message there says be nice, but I'll do what I want. I can be as mean as I want. Of course, and then you have to flash back to it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. It couldn't have been inside that dressing box. What do you mean? When I first came down here, that box caught my eye too. It was just the right size and would have made the perfect hiding place. Someone did logic than me. That's why I thought anyway, but I couldn't get the dang thing to open. It'd been wrapped up real tight with a lock and chain. Murder happened after that, so had a body there would have been impossible, you know? A chain wrapped around it? That's a bit strange. There's not one now. Right now, it doesn't seem locked up at all. Huh? That's weird. Maybe my eyes were playing tricks on me, or something.
Hmm, and with that, I believe we have examined every suspicious looking nook and cranny to examine here. Well then, let's head down. Oh, have we decided on our next destination? Hey, Kay. Y yes, Mr. Shields? We wouldn't want you to get lost, so make sure you stay real close to Uncle Ray, okay? Right, I'll follow you closely, Mr. Shields. These two. Since when did they get along like that? Can we get a group photo of that? Just all of them, like, on the elevator, all posing? Also, why is Lotta just part of the group now? In hindsight, we probably should have suspected that everything would be... Everyone would be really confused at why an elevator just dropped down from the ceiling with a bunch of people in here. People who, realistically, should not be here. What? what Mr. Edgeworth! What's wrong with my jaw? This place is... This is the auction hall. No, it's the meeting room from before. Ha ha ha! Wah ha ha! How nice of you to drop in, Kay Faraday! Have we met? You've got some guts! Hey, you guys! Arrest her! Arrest her! Wait, Kay is... As for the rest of the riffraff, just show them out, out the door. I'm gonna take pictures of all of you! I'm gonna steal your soul so you can't arrest me! This is tyranny! Yeah, the tyranny, pal! I didn't authorize this! I'm the detective here! Oh my gosh, they're moving at us one frame per second! I can't fight them! Miles, this is kinda bad! Light of justice shines above me! Ha <laughs> ha! Ow, why? Ow, why? Why did I get whipped? Youch! Why me too? Oh, that's strange. I was aiming for that weak ex-prosecutor. You were clearly aiming at me! Maybe something got in my way, particularly. Yag! Right around there. Francisca. Just what do you think you're doing here, ex-prosecutor Miles Edgeworth? I do not believe that Kay is the culprit behind this incident. You're just an ordinary man without investigation rights. What you say does not matter. I am Francisca von Karma. I will never stop moving forward. However, you choose to quit. Chose to quit, rather. The outcome of our battle has already been decided. I cast away my badge because it became a milestone around my neck. A milestone. Ha! You get it because of me, Monica. I shall continue moving forward, even without it. Ah. Path I walk will surely lead to the truth. My actions are driven by that belief. My actions are driven by that belief, and that is something that will never change. So, you're saying you found the path to the truth? Then show it to me. But if that path... ...proves to be a foolish one, it will not survive my whip. Yeah, of course. The victim used her keycard and entered this room with the culprit. Then the culprit stabbed the victim in the chest with the candelabra, who no one knows where it came from, of course, killing her. Shouldn't the letter make it obvious who the culprit is? Of course, the crime scene was right here in this room. The PIC meeting room. The proof is in the bloodstain we found here in the meeting room. That settles it, Miles Edgeworth. How come no one is questioning the giant elevator? Also... Did they just flip her model? I feel like the badge was on the other side, wasn't it? Hmm. I think they flipped his pocket, too. Hmm. 
That's very lazy. <laughs> but funny, so it's fine. Miss Von Karma seems really confident, doesn't she? Ah, I see. She's a fiery one, isn't she? I don't mind a feisty cutie, so how about- Oh, jeez. I do not hug weaklings. How repulsive. Well, Miles Edworth, can you break my logic? If you have truly no intention of stopping here, prove it to me with evidence. Very well, evidence one, the elevator you're standing beside. I'll show you, Francisca. The evidence that paves my path. The prosecutor's path. That's the joke. Do I want to press these? Probably not. I mean, there's the obvious, like, hey, didn't... Crime scene is in this room. Oh yeah, it's a super minor thing. It was just a random thought I had, because I was thinking it was a shame that her badge was on the other side. Hmm. Do you have any proof that the crime took place in this room? A Von Karma is perfect in every way. Perhaps you forgot that when you gave up your badge? You have a snide comment that's the exact same thing every time. A Von Karma is perfect. Perhaps you forgot that when you... Blank here. Hold it. Hold it. Have we determined who the blood actually belongs to? The blood analysis confirmed it belonged to the victim. Just because the blood stain was found here, it doesn't mean that this was the scene of the crime. You forget, Miles Edgeworth, that the in court evidence is everything. If you believe this room is not a crime scene... Whoa. Did she teleport first? They reset the model so she could stretch her whip out again? Show me the evidence that proves it. Evidence that shows where the crime took place. We're going to be in court, but I'll show you the truth. Miss Von Karma is showing any openings. That we're the only ones that can perform such scientific investigations. Therein lies the proof. The path of the truth I've found. Blah, 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 present. Um, yes, I think that's Objection! Tapping my forehead gives me power. If memory serves me correctly, the blood in the meeting room was found in front of the statue of the Lady of Justice, was it not? To murder someone before Lady Justice. This culprit knows no fear. I wonder about that. Have a look at this piece of evidence. Every time I do, it makes me... Well, not right now. Blood was found in the storeroom right above the meeting room, which we could have talked about if you just asked me about it. As you can see, there are signs that drip down the floor below. And right under the hidden lift is... The Statue of Lady Justice. Then you understand. The murder may not have taken... Or the murder did not take place here. The killer murdered the victim in the storeroom and then moved the body to this room. And we're just going to ignore that you don't question that there's a storeroom. I feel like Francisco would be really mad about all the stuff up there. What Lady Justice witnessed was a coward trying to conceal their crime. And not to mention. And not the moment of the murder. Hmm. She's smiling. Pardon me, I just remembered a conversation quite similar to this one. As I expected, Miles Edgeworth, such naivety couldn't possibly be an act. But that was Mr. Edgeworth naive! Please don't hit me! God! Ow! I didn't tell you you could speak. Have you forgotten, or are you just playing the foolish fool? Yeah? It's like, so she's probably really mad about that. I guess it makes sense that they were smuggling... ...evidence, I guess? And other... ...things. Like stolen art. Which we don't really get to see. Well, I guess there's the painting up there. Although I assumed, uh... 
Grossworth got that, right? Didn't he get that back? Hmm. The amount of blood in the meeting room is clearly greater than in the storeroom. You haven't even been up there. Please don't hit, just hit me and then ignore- OW! Such a large amount of blood couldn't have simply dripped from the floor above. And even if it had, there shouldn't have been much more blood left behind the storeroom. The murder could not have occurred anywhere other than this meeting room. Hmm. You're as predictable as always, Francisca. That's why Phoenix always beats you. What? There isn't the amount of blood, it's just as you say. The question is, why does such a difference exist? That issue is trivial. I've already explained it with my perfect logic. No, you haven't. In that case, how do you explain the blood that was found in the storm? I don't suppose you're going to tell me that it's somehow sprayed all the way up there? Like water fountain? No way! That's awesome! I want to see that and then you just stab somebody. Hey, it didn't spray out at all! Exactly. It's impossible. Hey, wait, what? It's impossible. In other words, the reason for the difference is the amount of blood is... The amount of blood in the meeting room and the storeroom are different because... Weapon was pulled out here? Like, I didn't see anything where he hid the candelabra. The victim died of a stab room. Naturally, there would be a significant amount of blood loss. That's obvious just from looking at the blood stain. That's so weird! She was attacked in the storeroom, but there was less blood found in the found there than ow! Why did I get hit for just stating the obvious? Oh. Silence, you third rate prosecutor! But I'm the best! Ow! Do you know when you lose the most blood after getting stabbed with a sharp object? Thankfully, no. Ah, I know. It's when the sharp object's pulled out, right? Precisely. After being stabbed with the candelabra, the body was moved to the meeting room. Then, the murder weapon was pulled out right here in this very room. That would account for the difference in the amount of blood that was left behind. But why would the culprit go through all that trouble? Most likely to give the impression that the murder occurred in the meeting room. Seems Mr. Miss Crane's keycard was used last night. But based on the time of use, it must have been employed by the culprit to mislead us. In all likelihood, it was the culprit who used the keycard to enter the meeting room. Why would the culprit have needed to do that? Perhaps they feared that the storeroom would be found out during the investigation. I mean... Apparently that's not an issue, since no one seems to care about it right now, but if they were involved in the auction, they would not have wanted to become public. Wait, what op- what auction? What are you talking about? The auction, you say? Perhaps you should go upstairs and see for yourself what items are on display. I'm sure that will allow you to understand what occurred here, and also be really, really mad. <laughs> Impressive, Miles Edgeworth. You're willing to go that far to protect her? There's something big lurking behind the scenes of this case. Case simply got caught up in it. You're exaggerating. Am I now? More than anyone, I would think you'd understand the significance behind all this. Why would you, a prosecutor working with Interpol, be involved in a domestic case? Wasn't your objective to crush a certain international smuggling ring? Did your search for a smuggled if your search for smuggled goods has led you here, then isn't this feeling I have related to the case? I'm relieved you haven't lost your touch, even though you've turned in your badge. Well, yeah, I didn't lose my fingers when I turned in my badge. That's not how... Thankfully, they didn't, you know, cut those off. What if they took his pointing fingers so he couldn't object anymore? It's like, that's the rule. That's what happens when you quit, quit being a prosecutor. And then they glue it back on if you become a defense attorney. I've heard about your situation from Scruffy over there. That's yeah, sorry, sir. She just kept whipping me. I couldn't, you know... Just wanted to help out somehow. And she, every time I said, I'll oh, just forget about it, she just kept hitting me and telling me to talk. A wise decision, detective. Oh, all right then. I got a compliment. Maybe I'll get a raise next time you, uh, conduct my... Oh, wait, you can't. You don't have your badge anymore. Well, I'm never getting a raise. Francisca, are you the one in charge of this case? Isn't Interpol pursuing the black market auction? 
And what if I am? That's not something you need to know. So you knew about all this from the very beginning. That explains the lack of question. You knew the black market auction was being held right here. Hey, 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 mind if I butt in? About that gal who turned up dead. You! Hey, I ain't done talking yet. I. You ain't changed the lick. This case doesn't even need a fragment of your faulty testimony. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm a bona fide- OW! Back then, you gave false testimony. Miss Von Karma seems to really dislike Lada. I can't say she's fond of her. I ain't, ain't that crane guy one of them PIC members. She's a spitting image of the conductor. I reckon she's... Ouch! She hit me. She hit me again. Like three times now. What is the meaning of this? Answer me, Miles Edgeworth. From Miss Hart's testimony, we obtained a description of what the conductor was wearing. And it matches with the victim, Jill Crane. What the victim, Jill Crane, was wearing. You mean to say the one who was murdered was the conductor? Myth Bomb Karma, maybe you should calm down. Why don't I even say anything? It would seem that a new fact has just been brought to light. Indeed, I came in in pursuit of the black market auction. In order to arrest the organizer of the event. In other words, the conductor. If we were to believe Miss Hart's testimony, the conductor was already dead. Wouldn't this mean that your investigation has ended in vain? That's right. However... I swear on my name, I will not return empty-handed. I challenge you, Miles Edgeworth. How is that any different from normal? A challenge is fine, but why is she readying her whip like she's out for a victim of her own? Francisca's Logic Bar 2. I will concede your argument. The murder occurred in the storeroom, correct? That would mean the culprit is someone who participated in the auction. If that photograph is correct, the victim was the conductor, and the culprit was a customer. The culprit waited for the victim in the storeroom, where the goods were delivered. Then, they stabbed the victim in the chest with the candelabra in the storeroom. That is all. I trust you have no objections. Unfortunately, that is not the case, because there is a hole in your testimony. Also, it's not even a... It's not even like... She's not even like accusing anybody. As expected of my, Mr. Edworth, I didn't notice anything at all. Well then, please settle this with one blow. Yes, of course. Watch as I crush her logic. I guess. I mean, she's off of Kay's case, I guess. Someone who participated in the auction, yes. Photographer is correct, the victim was the conductor, and the culprit was the customer, yes. Culprit waited for the victim in the storeroom where the goods were delivered, no. Uh... Okay, that one's not important yet. Wait, what does that say? Oh, okay. I thought I saw something weird, but no, it was not. Uh, let's see, red raincoat. Didn't see the thing. No, oh, was that it? First glance, her logic seems sold up, but something just doesn't feel quite right. I'll need to draw out more information. Okay. This is the one that bothers me, so... Miss Hart was in the storeroom at the time. Could the culprit really have been waiting there? Objection! I don't know where she was hiding, but... I was hiding behind a statue. Shut up! Since you were, you've seen it, you must know as well. There are numerous hiding places in that storeroom. Have you seen it? I feel like you'd have... You'd be more on our side if you have seen it. So the culprit was hiding while they waited for the victim to arrive. I believe the crime occurred after the auction ended. After all, the victim was the organizer of the auction, the conductor. During the auction, the organizer would have been be in front of the customers the entire time. After the auction ended. Please add that statement to your testimony. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. 
That's the problem I have with this one. Didn't have the right line yet. Make sure this is right. Yes. <laughs> As I thought, you were one step behind. What did you say? Are you saying we could figure this out if we just talked to each other like normal human beings? The victim was not the conductor. And I have proof. Miss Hart's testimony. That photographer's testimony is not trustworthy. I know this from experience. What are y'all saying? I'm a bona fide jur- Ow! Why? Cease your idle chatter. Yo! Ow! Objection! Objection. Francisca, calm down and listen. Miss Hart witnessed a part of the murder. The main point here is that after the witnessing the murder, she says the auction continued. That's right. Sure as can be, they just kept going on shamelessly. Do you think the auction could have continued without someone conducting it? If the victim was not the conductor, the person killed must have been a customer. <gasps> no. As I said from the beginning, Kay is not the culprit. After all, she herself was attacked by someone and lost consciousness. In which case, that would also make her a victim. If the auction continued after the incident occurred. Yes, the victim was not the conductor, but a customer. That's enough. That voice. Who could it possibly be? And to totally wasn't... Where did the guards go? Order in the court. The chairman will now enter. My, my, no need to be so stiff. Actually, feel free to call me Blazy. Because I'm wearing a blazer, get it? Well then, what Blazy? What brings you here, huh? Well, well, I just wanted to see if my idiot son was working hard, is all. Is this kind of father-son relationship really healthy? Would I know if it was? I'm actually kind of surprised he called him that, and like, didn't raise up a fuss. I'd come to light a fire under you, but it seems I found an unexpected bonus. To think the criminal has been be who would become the talk of the town would be here, of all places. Everyone, restrain the suspect at once. Please wait, K. Farday is not the cult. Silence! That's a really strong light. Is your thumb okay? This is quite troubling, Edward. Didn't I tell you earlier? PIC desires a swift resolution to this case. If it's not, we could lose our trust with the public. They call us the Waste of Time Committee. I'm pretty sure they call us that anyways. Do you have any idea how many people hate us? You know, it's troubling for me as well to think this sort of thing. And that my age, too. And on the top of that, an illegal investigation is not something that I can overlook. Have you forgotten you are no longer a prosecutor? You have lost all your authority. Furthermore, you have I aided a criminal in evading the law. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So you're so reliable, Courtney. I'm aware of the consequences of my actions. You may punish me as you wish. However, we have found a new suspect. It's the person pictured here. K. Faraday was attacked by this person and... Overruled! There is no need for your explanation. Just recently, a red raincoat was discovered in the vicinity of this building. The victim's blood and cherry blossom petals were found on the hood. Cherry blossom petals? Now that you mention it, the viewing platform did have cherry blossom. Yes, it's probably stuck due to the blood. They were littered around the blood stain. And we recently received the forensic report of the blood, you know. No doubt about it. Person in that photo was the victim, Jill Crane. What did you say? They were only found on the hood. How does that... Not gonna, I'm not gonna question it. Impossible! That would completely destroy the foundations of our logic. Not really. We had believed the person in the red raincoat was the culprit. And now it turns out that person is actually the murder victim? Wait, that that's literally impossible. If that's the case, then the prime suspect would be... 
Miss Faraday, you met the person in the red raincoat on the rooftop, did you not? Um, yeah, I did, but... The person in the red raincoat was the murder victim, and Kay Faraday came to the contact with that person. I hope a hood doesn't wink. Since one of the pies is now dead, what happened next should be clear. What happened next may shock you. 10 out of 10 courts agree. Objection! Kay was attacked by that person. As the victim, it would be impossible for her to be the culprit. Overruled. There is no evidence she was attacked, is there? She's wearing bandages. Furthermore, we must consider the possibility that the victim fought back. It's far too early to come to that conclusion. K is not the criminal. You're wrong. K, K! That's wrong. Even though I don't want to believe it myself. After hearing about the raincoat, I finally remembered. I only remembered a little, but... From what I saw that night... The culprit... Is me. I remember looking down... At the person in the red raincoat. Mr. Edgeworth, it was me! The culprit was me all along! That can't be right! Then why? Why do I have that memory? That person collapsed before my eyes, engulfed in a pool of blood. Why didn't I do anything? It must have been because I killed him. It's clear to me the validity of Kay Faraday's memory. Then you're done until now, pal. Shut up. Congratulations, Miss Faraday. Your courage will surely allow you to be forgiven. Now, let us rejoice in the blessings of the Goddess of Law. Objection. Allow me to give my opinion as the International Prosecutor. Her actions as a criminal are... Overruled. Oh, they're overruled? Good. Hurry, arrest Kay Faraday at once. How dare you behave that way before me. You're being too forceful. Further verif verification is necessary. I'd even go as far as to say this is unlawful. Unfortunately, the laws does not side with you. It sides with me, you see. But you know, the beautiful bond between you two has been etched deeply into my heart. That reminds me, you seem to have forgotten one additional suspect. Edgeworth, that's you. Why did I burn these papers again? What's that about, Mr. Edward? I haven't done anything wrong. I beg to differ. That's right. You see, he's no longer a prosecutor, sadly enough. Your actions have gone too far this time. An illegal investigation and assisting in the escape of a criminal. I cannot even think of you as a former prosecutor. Now, humbly accept your punishment. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. I believe the plan for today was to hold your hearing before the PIC. Why don't we leave the hearing for tomorrow? Even though the result is already crystal clear. Does he even need that anymore? He got, like, he quit. <laughs> you should think long and hard about what you've done. Very long, very hard. Go on a motorcycle ride or something. Court is now adjourned. We're not in court. Oh, sorry. To be continued. I don't know what he's... He's done that twice now. I don't get it. Oh. Like, things he says doesn't even seem to have anything to do with what he's... Like, what he burned. Oh, uh, he misses you too, OP. Yeah, I guess so. But anyways, I think we might call it there. A lot of talking in that one. I mean, it's always a lot of talking, but... I don't know. How do you guys feel about that? I mean, they are questioning it, but they're not, like, focusing on it. Which is definitely weird, but meh. I mean... Two of them are definitely, like, in on it. I was a little surprised Sebastian didn't talk more. Like, I feel like he should have been like, wait, what's going on? 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think this that will probably be it for tonight. Just because this seems like a good, like, separate scene. So, thanks a lot for... <laughs> thanks a lot for, uh, watching. Sorry, I was reading things. Seems like a cliffhanger. Who does that? I have no idea. The Strim and or VOD? What? But either way, I don't know if we'll be doing a thing tomorrow, because, you know, it's typically pretty noisy. Uh, but I'm going to be working on something, and that may or may not cut into some stream time. Figured I'd warn you guys here. Because I'm going to actually try to get it done. Yeah, noisy. Oh, well, okay, enjoy the VOD later. That's just Phoenix right for you. It's always been like that. The best thing is to just have fun with it and not let it get under your skin. Double cliffhanger, but, you know, the other thing I'm working on is probably not going to be done for, like, a few months, so. Because I'm really slow. Uh, but anyways, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed my bad voice acting, as usual. Possibly see you tomorrow, but honestly, I would say don't expect anything until Saturday. Anyway, see you later. Thanks for watching, and remember to not follow anyone in red raincoats.